Guys, we have a problem. And when I say we got a problem, we've got a big, big problem. So if you guys have seen my videos before, you'll know I'm a catfish. I troll people online. This is literally what I do. This is what this whole channel is dedicated to. However, literally right now, I was just scrolling on Twitter and I found out that one of the victims that we troll is fighting back. And when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, is this actually happening? I need to make a video about this. Now, surprisingly, the group that's fighting back isn't Gen Alpha. I thought if anyone's going to fight back, it would be Gen Alpha because literally the whole of the internet's clowning on them and calling them cringe. Which they are. I've called them cringe. But they're not the enemy today. The enemy today is something that I didn't even know existed. They're called Gen X. Yeah, that's right. Generation X. So right here, we have all of the generations from the silent generation to the boomers all the way to Gen Alpha. Me personally, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably Gen Alpha or Gen Z. I guess probably some millennials are watching this as well. However, none of us three are the problems, right? It's not millennials. It's not Gen Z. It's not Gen Alpha. However, it's this generation, the red generation. Generation X, which is anyone born from 1965 to 1980, which would make them, which makes them 44 to 59, which is literally my parents' age. Probably your parents too. That's right, our parents are the problem. But no, seriously, they actually are. So yeah, this group as well as Generation X is also known as Karens. And you guys know I love to troll Karens. Literally, I've done countless videos going on Facebook pretending to be a Karen, trolling other Karens. However, now the Karens are fighting back. So look, if we literally go on TikTok right now and search Generation X, look what comes up. So the first one, you should be afraid of Gen X. They beat us up on the regular and we're unbothered. I mean, speak for yourself, no Gen X is beating me up. If anything, I'm beating them up. I've got the Karens on stream. Is she Gen X? I mean, her name's 40-ish and fabulous, so she probably is, right? For those Gen Zers out there that don't understand the Gen X rise, let me explain it. The Gen X folks are the toughest people that currently exist in our world today. What? No, they're not. <laughs> Have a day off. I'm way tougher than Gen X. Okay, that's probably not true. I'm not the best example, all right? But come on, Gen X, they're getting old. They're not that tough. I'm definitely tougher. I am the oldest millennial. I was born in 82, but I had an older brother, so I was raised as a Gen X kid. And let me tell you a little bit about how we were raised. Oh, the millennial pause is killing me. The millennial pause, you know, when they're like, they start a video and they're like, <gasps> And then they just start talking. Oh She's literally done it about three times. Let me tell you a little bit about Wait. how we were raised. No. <laughs> She's like, <gasps> so basically, yeah, I can tell she's a millennial. Yeah, anyway, back to the video. Let's hear why Gen X is tough. Nobody was watching us. Nobody catered to us. Nobody gave a flying flip where we were or what we were doing. <laughs> A flying flip. What a tough generation. No one gave a flying flip about them. So now they're tougher than everyone else. I had to be home when the streetlights came on and, you know, our parents just kind of expected that we would show up and whatever happened in between, as long as we came home alive, good to go. We climbed water towers. We hopped fences we shouldn't have. We committed crimes and nobody knew. It was a true F around and find out situation. And let me tell you, natural consequences are the best way to learn life lessons. So Gen X is smart. I'm starting to think she's actually Gen X. No one that's not Gen X gives Gen X this much praise. She's waffling. The thing is, I feel like every generation has this nostalgia that they're like, oh, our lifetime was so much better. We did stuff differently. The kids nowadays, they're just on iPads. I think when you're talking like this, it just means you're getting old. You're not special. You're not tougher than me, all right? I'm tough. They are mad street smart. Mad street smart. But the craziest part about them is, is that they stay completely unbothered. And so, through all this mess that we call our world, they have stayed largely unbothered. They've put their head down, they've taken care of their business, they stayed out of it, but they've started to get sick of it. We've pushed the Gen X to their limit. Wait, hold on. Gen X stay unbothered? Are you sure? Gen X are literally the most bothered generation there is. Like, genuinely, that is a generation of carrots. They're so bothered. This is the generation that calls every other generation snowflakes, woke, and just complains the whole time. But they think they're special and tough and they've had it so hard. Oh, give us a break, Gen X. You should try being Gen Z for a day. It's tough out here. Sitting on desks, at computers, editing videos, reacting to your TikToks. This is tough. But because they're also so freaking chill and they mind their business, they haven't done anything yet, but they're starting to. They're rising up and saying, okay, it's time for the smartest generation, the toughest generation, the most unbothered, the most resilient generation to get up and start saying something and doing something about this crap that we see going on right now. I don't think we're fully prepared to see what that generation is going to do. What do you mean? Oh, we don't know what they're going to do. What are they going to do? What are they actually going to do? Going to riot on the street? Literally, your neighbor Karen just going on the streets being like, Gen X, Gen X, we're the best. Like, what do you what do you want? What is actually their issue? I don't know. This is what I'm hoping to find out. But I genuinely don't know what they're rising against. They're just like, yeah, we're rising against everything we don't like. But what is that? I honestly don't think they even know. I think they're just bored. Honestly, I do. Let's look at the comments here. Someone said, Gen X rise. 
to retirement. Literally, that's the only place you'll rise into. Someone said Gen X versus Facebook password. <laughs> Gen X rise? Their blood pressure? Yeah, that video was a lot of yapping, but we kind of saw what their point is. We didn't really. But we saw they are starting to make a stand. So let's look into this more. Right here, we've got a video. What's this? Puddle Skunk 3. Oh, guys, get ready. Puddle Skunk 3 is coming for you. Is this their logo? Is Generation X's logo? He's got it on her face. Gen X. Gen X. What have I just watched? Is she literally like on her knees being like, Gen X rise and she's like, yes, it's my time. Gen X stand up. Like what is she actually doing? Rise. She she just stood up. Wait, I want to see more TikToks to this sound. From girly chef Gen X. Honestly, Gen X have the best names. I'll give them that, right? I don't think they're the toughest. I don't think they're the smartest. But they have the best TikTok names. We got Puddle Skunk 3. We got Girly Chef Gen X. Who else we got? Oh, look at this one. Mustache Man 23. Gen X rise. Who's with me? Rise. Looking tough. Oh no. <laughs> Is that supposed to be intimidating? He's literally just going. Honestly, I think anyone that uses this filter just instantly loses IQ. So yeah, basically Gen X are standing up for what they believe in. Again, I still don't know what that is. They haven't really made that clear, but they're calling war on everyone else, which is kind of stupid because we're, we're gonna outnumber them, but they are smarter than us, so we may be doomed. Let's talk a little bit about Generation X, the generation so terrifying they couldn't even give it a name. So Gen X- <sighs> Oh, we got another one here. Who's this? Gen X Rise. Gen X Rise. Oh, I'm scared. She's turned the comments off. The most tough generation. This generation, they're tough. They don't care about anything. Oh, but she obviously got too many hate comments. And turned the comments off. I thought you were tough. Handle the comments. Gen X rise. Gen X rise. I mean, she's not rising. Someone commented, what are y'all rising against? That's what I mean. What are you rising against? This is what I want to know. Do they even know? But you know what? I'm actually going to join the fight. I'm literally logged into the Jeremy Mason account right now, my trolling account. So you know what? I'm going to join the fight. Jeremy Mason here reporting for duty. Gen X, stand up. I'm sure I'm going to get some hate on that. Wait, that actually gives me an idea. Would you guys want to see me go undercover as a fake Gen X and troll millennials, Gen Z and Gen Alpha? Literally pretending to be one of these people with the X's on their faces. I think that could be pretty funny. So if you want to see that, like the video. I could also troll Gen X as a Gen X. Because there's definitely some Gen X groups talking about this revolution. So yeah, if you want to see that, make sure you like the video. Right, you know what? I'm just going to comment all these videos back in the up. I just want to stir the pot. I want to create more drama. We got this guy that we watched already. 45 year old Gen Xer here. Here and ready for battle. And then we'll add the dot, dot, dot. Gen X love the dot, dot, dot. Who else we got? Puddle Skunk. We can't forget her. We are so tough. We are the best Gen. And we will take over. Over. No one can stop us. Gen X rise! And let's put some emojis. What, what's a Gen X emoji? Oh, I know the perfect Gen X emoji. This is an emoji my dad literally uses. That's how you know it's a Gen X emoji. Their classic thumbs up emoji. This is the only thing Gen X are rising. Their thumbs. They love a good thumbs up. We got you beautiful thing one. Again guys, they come up with the most creative names. What is this? Fear has two meanings. Forget everything and run. Again, look, the comments just as confused as us. Who is Gen X beefing with? <laughs> Someone said nursing home. But once again, Jeremy's going to show his support. Gen X here. Ready to rise. 1976. Represent. And once again, thumbs up. You can just imagine this bald bearded man commenting this, can't you? What's this one? The way Gen X is trying to attack Gen Z if they aren't literally our parents. That's what I mean. My parents are Gen X. I'm literally roasting my parents right now by making this video. But they're rising up against me. I've got to fight back. How am I supposed to look my parents in the eye after this knowing they hate me? They want to go to war with me. And it's not just me. It's probably you as well. You watching this video, unless you're under the age of maybe 10, even if you are under the age of 10, your parents probably are Gen X. And they hate you. They're rising up against you. <laughs> they're going to destroy you. Again, we still don't know why, but They've got their reasons, apparently. Yeah, the way I found out about this, I literally was on Twitter and I saw a tweet about it. It was like a whole compilation of all the clips. Oh, it was this one. Look, Gen X declares war with Gen Z on TikTok. Okay, there we go. We know who they're fighting against now. So let's watch this. This is like a proper trailer. I started watching this and I was like, what is going on? I need to film about this. Here we go. I've got a message. It's the guy. For Gen Z. I think we should start a Gen X mafia. Message is for Gen X and the millennials. The millennials have decided to join Gen X. Oh, it seems so Gen Z doesn't like that. Okay, we did kind of work that out. But Gen Z, we're standing strong. We're fighting back against them rising up. I don't know. I still don't really know why. But Gen Z doesn't like that. We're not teaming up with Gen X. We're fighting them. Let's get them, Karen. I don't know what you have planned for us and why you're recruiting everyone. <laughs> <laughs> They've been building an army. And there's out there that don't 
Let me explain it. The Gen <laughs> X folks are the toughest people that currently exist. What does this say? They woke us. They poked us. Now they can enjoy the consequences. Guys, the Karens are fighting back. As if they haven't been fighting back this whole time. This is what I don't get. They've literally been fighting back the whole time. The Karens have a problem with everyone and everything. If anything, we don't fight back. If there's a little inconvenience in our life, we just get on with it, you know, oh, whatever. But Gen X, the Karens, they're like, I want to speak to your manager right now. But I guess they forgot. They are getting old. They are physically tough. Nobody was watching us. Let me tell you, natural consequences are the best way to learn life lessons. They are Oh, do you see that? There will be consequences to Gen Z. But what are the consequences? Are we going to be grounded? I mean, they are our parents. They're probably going to ground us. <laughs> that is the consequences. We're getting grounded and we're going to get sent to our room. You're rising up and saying, okay, it's time for the smartest generation. Gen X has started a war, a war that they are determined to finish. But what is the war about? This is what I still don't know. We've worked out it's against Gen Z, but what did we do? I genuinely don't know. Like literally look, someone replied with a screenshot. And these are actually comments we've got. Obviously we've made some as Jeremy. 1966 here, already risen and ready. OG Gen X, 1965 Oklahoma, 1966 Gen X, 64 million strong. Vote and take back our country. See so yeah, guys, this whole time we've been clowning on the wrong generation. We've been clowning on Gen Alpha way too much. We need to team up with them. We need to team up with the skibbity toilets. Because Gen X have got a problem with us. And we need to fight back. Or should we fight back? Or should we join them? No, there's no way I'm joining the Karen. Unless it's undercover. Yeah, overall, I just wanted to update you on this whole situation because it's pretty crazy. They've got their own Gen X trailer about how they're going to take over the world. So yeah, now you've got the whole backstory of the Gen X revolution. Pick your side, guys, and let me know if you want to see me do more on this. Because I think we've got to do it. We've got to go undercover. Whether that be trolling the Gen X or joining them and trolling Gen Zers. But yeah, on that note, guys, the war has officially begun. Get ready, stock up, prepare yourselves. Because we're going to war. Guys, it's been George Basin. If you have enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It's been George Basin, the biggest Gen Zer of all time. Time over and out. Boom.